Hi, I'm Jerry Harms, a hydroponics guy, and we just finished making several videos on transplanting cymbidiums, and we're all about cymbidium success. So what I want to show you uh, before we finish up this series is how to set up your cymbidium for outside growing, because if you want to be successful with growing cymbidiums, they have to be grown outside because they need that sun. They need a couple of hours of strong sun um, all day, and they need the cool temperatures at night. So. Here's our setup for outside. And our hydroponic system is perfect for outside growing because we're growing in these clay pebbles and they won't rock, decay, or decompose and they're perfect for outside growing. So our setup is we have our culture pot, nice tall profile culture pot, and a shallow saucer. And so what happens with this is when it rains, the saucer will fill up with water and it'll only hold maybe a half an inch of water before it overflows and that's exactly what we want to have happen is the saucer to overflow so the plant doesn't stay too wet so now here's how we're going to take that growing system and set it up for outdoors because what happens if we put it outside just like this the wind will blow it over it, it, it gets toppled around and what i used to do is put a couple of heavy rocks on the top of the pot but you know what, is that that affected my new growth and all of that. So now, the setup that we're using uh, now is go to a garden center, your local garden center, and get a plain nursery pot, just a plain old plastic nursery pot. Put a couple of stones in the bottom for weight. Then, take your plant, saucer and all, set it right down inside of that culture pot and there you are there's your setup for outdoor growing the wind can blow this and it'll 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 uh, uh, wiggle a little bit but it won't blow over and nothing will blow over this outer pot so that's a very good way inexpensive way to set up your plants for outdoor growing we just completed setting up cymbidiums in a nursery pot for outdoor growing maybe this isn't fancy enough it looks too boring for you well I got an answer for that too get a terracotta pot and what we do with the terracotta pot is put a piece of styrofoam in the bottom to get the right height and make sure your pot has a drainage hole in the bottom because it has to drain and then we take our growing system and set that right down inside of the terracotta pot and there you are. Same kind of setup, good looking setup, and uh, uh, if you have your plant on the patio, things like that, this might be a better, a better look for you. Now, what I like about this is, is that you can see down inside the pot and see when the plant is dry or not. So this is for growing the best setup. Now, if you don't like the looks of it, you don't like the looks of a pot inside of a pot, well, what you can do there is, is add a water gauge, put the water gauge in the plant, set the plant down inside, and then take some extra pebbles, and all you have to do is pour the pebbles, try to hit the pot, that's always a good idea, pour the pebbles down in around the pot, around the uh, grow pot, And now you don't see the pot inside of the pot and the water gauge will tell you when the plant is dry. So that might be a better setup for you. And there you are. Cymbidiums set up for outdoor growing. Now before we leave I want to give you a couple of tips on when you take your plants outside. Number one is these things need sun. An unbelievable amount of sun sun that would burn any other kind of house plant any other kind of orchid for that matter so what you need to do is when you take your plants outside start in total shade and put them under a tree where they don't get any Sun at all and then in a week or two you can gradually start moving them into Sun my cymbidiums get Sun direct hot Sun from 2 o'clock in the afternoon on so you can set them up so that they get morning Sun or afternoon Sun 
I like to avoid the midday sun because that's really the hot blazing sun um, that might even burn the plant. So there you are. You have everything that you need to grow healthy, hardy, cymbidiums. We're going to leave these things outside until October or later. And uh, when we bring them in, we're going to have some beautiful flowers next winter. I promise.